Hey guys, I know this is not my traditional video setup, but eh, I was kind of debating whether or not to do this video. So yeah, someone took a couple shots at President Trump and ended up, hopefully, if it was their goal to take his life, that they didn't get what they wanted that day. And obviously I, I know someone died at, at the rally and someone else was injured. <sighs> remember the name Corey, um, oh my goodness, I can't remember the last name of the family, but his name was Corey. Um, you guys can probably look up his name and find it. Uh, he's left his family, his wife and daughter who went to the rally with him. He was really excited about the rally. He's a firefighter. He, he died a hero protecting his family from the bullets and uh, we need to remember his name and continue to pray for that family. Continue to pray for the families of those who were injured in this shooting. But yeah, I was shocked a little bit to hear that, that news on Saturday. I, I heard it um, from a friend in a group chat I was in and so I looked it up real quick and I'm like, dang. In a way, I don't mean this like, you know, lightly, I'm like, when you are kicking at the hornet's nest and trying to get rid of the hornet's nest, the hornets are gonna come after you and try to do everything they can to stop you from kicking their nest. So while the actions were horrible, this is something that we, we probably should have expected to see coming. In fact, I think that there have been other attempts on President Trump's life that have not been reported by the media, but I'm not gonna get in to that. Bottom line, I just, I think I just should echo um, something I've heard recently. Um, I don't know how many of you know about Taylor Alicia. She's a uh, former OnlyFans who turned to Christ and she's been sharing her testimony on YouTube and she has this whole new YouTube channel where she's talking about her faith in Christ and teaching other people how to, you know, how to walk with Christ and battle sin and videos like that, a lot of really um, interesting topics she goes into. And she made a very good point in her video. Hey guys, this is not about two parties battling each other. I've said this for quite a while. I, I, I think I said this back in 2020. This is not about red versus blue. This is not about Democrat versus Republican or one party versus another. I firmly believe when President Trump entered the ring, this became a battle between good and evil. The devil did not like this man getting into office and it was very evident when the uh, the deep state tried everything they could to, to get him out, to soil his name, to dig up whatever they can against him. It, it, the first thing they tried was mocking him and humiliating him, saying he'd never be president. That didn't work out. The second thing they tried doing Russia collusion, Russia, Russia, Russia. They even pleaded the election in 2016 was fraudulent. I, I, that There was a lot of people who said Russia colluded with the Trump campaign to put him in office, which that ended up being a lie and a, just a big waste of time. It's not surprising. The deep state will waste as much time as they need to to um, get what they want. And there is a deep state, guys. There is a deep state. There's plenty of evidence that there is a deep state. Uh, if you are still under the opinion that, you know, the media tells the truth and that the Democrats don't have this underlying agenda that is fed to them by higher ups and higher ups for them and that the media contains the same script for every every news outlet, Fox, CNN, MSNBC, ABC. Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. And this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. You guys need to do some more waking up. I might get banned for saying this stuff. I've I've lost videos many times because I I've talked about this stuff. It's partly why uh, YouTube almost shut me down years ago. But I am planning to do more skits, guys. But anyways, back on topic. So, Russia collusion failed. Then they tried to, uh, you know, everything they could to say that, you know, he's going to get us in a war. Media tried to spin every narrative they could against him. Didn't work out. They tried to say that he withheld aid from Ukraine. That didn't work out. They tried to use COVID against him. That wasn't working out either. I want to say the next thing, but I know that once I say it, I'll probably get a fact check 
thing underneath my video like YouTube likes to do, or they will just completely remove this video because we're not allowed to mention the E-L-E-C-T-I-O-N space F-R-A-U-D phrase. And that seemed to work. They got him out. And uh, then they tried to uh, still indict him for whatever reason when they had basically one quote unquote the white house oh let's see what else did they try to do oh yeah they tried to incriminate him for whatever reason saying that he had a lot of criminal business dealings he had going on they tried to indict him with a jury that was rigged and yeah it was rigged there's evidence of that out there that didn't work out either what do they resort to next an assassin on the roof how do you get there? You just walk in, carry this big old rifle, Secret Service, be like, hey, how you doing? Nice bag you got there. Come on, guys. 130 yards away. <laughs> and that one roof, it's not being looked at by the Secret Service, not being looked at by the police. There's a lot about this that does not seem right. Trump has stood up for this country more than any other president in the last, I think, 100 years, in my opinion. Your, your opinion may differ from mine, that's totally fine. Reagan, he was a good president, but um, the deep state, they, they scared him too. They, they told him to back off when they, you know, they fired that shot at him. Assassination attempt, okay, sure. But anyway, th 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 that's just my opinion. The deep state does this by, they, 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 they get us to fight each other. It's, they've been doing this for a long time now. This is not about one party versus another. This is about making us point the fingers at each other so that way we stay divided, we stay in this constant conflict with our fellow man while they sit up top laughing at us, taking away our freedoms, putting their thumb on us, saying we own you and there's nothing you can do about it. That's what they do. Trump, he said it before, they're after us. He's just standing in their way. So in my opinion, what this was last Saturday was just it was an attempt they finally resorted to trying and thank God it failed But I would encourage you guys to continue researching. I've I've gotten in trouble before for not researching the facts for not finding out the truth for myself and getting caught in a corner with no defense because I've I, I, I will admit I have had bad sources for things in the past and I've had to double check myself fact check myself and what I've said and make sure that what I'm saying is true. One thing I know for certain right now is that we are in this constant battle of good versus evil and that the devil does not like this man. Trump is not a perfect man. I'm not saying he's like a holy man or anything like that. I just know that he is trying to fight for this country, that he loves this country, he loves the people of this country. That he actually cares what happens to it. He's not there to get political gain or get his name on the newspaper or anything like that. He even said in his debate, like, Joe, if you were a good president, I would not be here right now. I wish I could just sit back in my club and just enjoy life. And this shot that he took to the ear on Saturday only solidified even more my support for this man and my vote for him. And those of you saying that he should have been shot, you've got something very wrong with you and you are just continually buying into what the deep state is selling you. Stop it. Wake up. There's plenty of evidence to support that they are pinning us against each other and they are trying to get us to kill each other. Get us to condone murder of presidents. Doesn't that seem a little messed up to you? November 5th. He's going to win that office. He's going to. Or they pull that stunt that they did in 2020 with the uh, quote unquote most electoral votes for Joe Biden. Or they kill him. That's literally the only thing they can do. This shot that he took to the ear on Saturday, that was it. That was the nail in the coffin for them. He's going to win. And it seems that now the only way they can stop him from getting in the office is killing him. Which I believe they've tried before, but not like this. Okay, I'm done rambling. Pray for this country. Pray for the president. And pray for the salvation of Joe Biden, of Kamala Harris, all the people who have been vocal against Donald Trump since the beginning, pray for them, despite what they've done. I know that 
a lot of people in government have done a lot of horrible things, but they're still people. God still created them. However heinous the thing may be, God still offers forgiveness for those who come to him. And the name of Yeshua is a very, very powerful thing. His blood covers a multitude of sins. His grace is huge. Huge. It's very bigly. Covers a multitude of sins. So pray for them. Pray that they will come to Christ. They will repent. And I, I really hope that Trump has his heart right with Yeshua and, and that he means what he says. Pray. God bless. Thank you for watching.